Hey guys, it's me, Jesse, and I'm back. I'm sorry I'm talking so loud, but let's get to play. Start new game. Wait. Load old one. Let's just get started. I'm just going to be quiet and let you guys go. Oh, by the way, we're playing Plague Inc. As you can see. Hold on. This ain't my game. <clears throat> it just gave me no chance to. <laughs> I'm not gonna take it. Comment down. Comment down below. The. Tell me what to do. I literally just tapped in something random, I don't care. This, it, this will probably be two episodes around, so... Hmm, last time I went for just one, but no. Okay. Starvation. She was found on the side of the highway 150 miles from her home. Here's NBC. 
he's, he's got him close. Six days after Sherry McMinnie was found, Sherry Glenn Beaton investigated, finally got a more detailed description of the two Hispanic girls suspected of kidnapping her at gunpoint as she went for a job near her home. Both of the subjects spoke in Spanish the majority of the time of her captivity. The suspects concealed their faces for weeks, spent hours giving interviews to detectives, and will confirm that the suspects did brand her. What could that mean? It could mean a method of torture. It could mean a way of control or exerting control over a person. Her husband, Keith Papini, telling People Magazine in a statement that his wife's nose was broken, her hair chopped off, her body covered in bruises from beads, writing, she was thrown from a vehicle with a chain around her waist, attached to her wrists in a bag over her head. The same bag she used to flag someone down when she was able to free one of her hands. But there are still so many unanswered questions so far, no motive or information on where she was held for three weeks. And why her kidnappers released her on the boats to the day? Investigators now working with a sketch artist as detectives compare the king's kidnapping to others in several states. Now, for Katie, who covers with her family by her side, my. her husband, covering his wife's survival, the good girl, he's still alive. No, my and up next here tonight, the mad hunt for a thief caught on camera striking gold in a blazing broad daylight night. And this is when the affection glows. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, uh. Time to take all the world. See what I mean, guys? It's time to take over the world! Yeah. Give me one more. Sorry guys, just froze up there for a minute.
Pittsburgh. 